Hey guys, what's going on? Dan Meyer here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to break down a lake and find crappies fast because that's, you know, that's what a lot of anglers want to be able to do. They want to be able to go out and have the confidence that they're going to catch some fish. And it doesn't always happen that way, but if you once you know what you're doing, you can expect on most days you're going to go out and have a pretty good day. But that doesn't happen for a lot of people, and it you know it's it's for a number of different reasons. But a lot of times it's because you know an angler will go out and he'll he'll either fish a spot where maybe he's caught some fish in the past, or somebody told him you know go try this spot, or maybe he's seen a whole bunch of guys fishing one area on a lake, so he goes out and fishes that spot. Um, but the angler really doesn't know, you know, exactly how to find these crappies, where they're going to be, or you know how what what their habits are in the winter. So, in this video, we're going to talk about how to look at a lake map, break it down, and find those crappies fast <clears throat> when you get out on the water. Now, if you want to really shortcut the process and just have a step-by-step -step system for doing it. If you haven't already, check out my 7-step crappie locating system. It's free. All you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video. Uh, enter your details. I'll email you a copy of the system. But that will kind of just give you a step-by-step -step process on what to do to find crappies on new water. But in this video, I'm going to give you three tips that's going to help you break down a lake fast and find crappies. So the first tip is to fish the high percentage spots first. Now that might sound really simple, um, but w when you look at a lake, a lot of lakes, a lot of natural lakes, they have big expansive basins um, or big weed flats. And a lot of times when somebody's you know going out to fish, they just pick a spot and they go and try it. So for example, if you're gonna fish a basin bite, a lot of people they'll just go somewhere in the basin and try that they'll drill their holes and you know they'll try it but if you want to locate these crappies fast I mean that approach could take a long time if you want to locate the crappies fast you need to pick the highest percentage spots and fish those first so if you're fishing you know weeds you want to find some type of structure that's going to be the most likely to hold them if you're fishing the basin the most likely spots for them to be in the basin. So that kind of takes us into tip number two, which is you want to find a, an area that can concentrate the crappies. So we're going to look at my little hypothetical lake here. Now I'm not much of an artist, but I kind of just drew a lake and then threw some contours. Um, but when you look at a lake map, let's just say this is a big lake here and it's kind of shaped like an hourglass. That's just kind of how it turned out. And I roughly drew in some contour lines here. And this area here is the basin. Here we have the shoreline. This is all basin. Now, if this is a big lake, this could be a huge area. And it would take forever to find, you know, crappies if you just started searching all over the basin. Because, you know, all this basin area, it could hold crappies. There could be this big, small schools of crappies just randomly swimming all over the basin searching for food. So you want to look for areas that it's going to concentrate them into, you know, group them up into a smaller area that you can break down. So in this hypothetical example, right here, kind of in the middle of the lake, you, I've got the, the shore comes out for a little bit of a point here, a little bit of a point there. This middle area here, let's say it bottoms out at 25 feet, it narrows up. That's going to push the fish into a smaller area. So we can we can drill our holes in this area. We can cover that in a reasonable amount of time and looking for crappies. Another area out here is here we can see we have a bay up here. It's a pretty shallow bay, not much of a slope, but out here kind of in the middle of the bay, it's going to drop into a little deeper area. This deeper area here it's smaller, it concentrates them in, into one area. If you're fishing a smaller lake, maybe, maybe you're fishing a big bowl type lake where 
all the shorelines just gradually fall into the middle, you're, you're going to start in the middle there. Um, or maybe there's a shoreline with a little steeper drop. That's all it can take to concentrate those fish. So you want to look at the lake map and whatever the lake has given you, you want to look for the areas that are most likely to concentrate the fish into a smaller area so you're not covering hundreds and hundreds of yards of lake looking for the crappies. I've done that plenty of times and it's, it's a lot of work. Some lakes that's what you have to do. You just have to put in the work. But a lot of times there's going to be something on the lake that's going to concentrate those fish into a smaller area giving you a much better chance of success. So then the third and final tip for locating crappies on a new lake fast is don't set up camp, don't set up your shack, you know, don't set up tip downs, whatever, until you found some fish. Because a lot of people, they want, they want to go to their spot and sit there and wait for the fish to come. A better approach is to find where the fish are, then set up all your stuff. Maybe you catch a few, and then you have to wait for another wave of fish to come in. But you want to make sure there's fish there before, before you set up camp. Because if you set up camp and you've got you know an hour or two hours committed to a spot, it's going to be hard to go and check different areas until you find those fish. So that's really what I do when I'm looking at a map and I'm breaking it down to try to find crappies. You, you know, you really concentrate on step two. You want to find those areas where the where you know where it's going to congregate some of those crappies. So I hope this video helped you. Uh, make sure you get my seven-step crappie locating system uh, to really shorten your learning curve. Again, just click on the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.